Artificial intelligence is on a massive uptrend since OpenAI released ChatGPT and people got blown away by its potential and capabilities. ChatGPT is honestly super powerful, but it's not the only AI tool that can be extremely helpful to manage your business, improve your workflow and basically level up your productivity 10 times, which will immediately give you an edge over everyone else who doesn't use AI. And since probably everyone knows at this point about ChatGPT, I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. But in case you don't, I will leave a link down in the description to one of my videos videos where I explain what it is and how you can make the best use of it. But like I said, there are many more AI tools that can help you make predictive decisions, increase your productivity by automating different tasks, handle customer service and many many more. But these tools are not only for businesses and they can be incredibly useful in the average person's life as well. So without wasting more time, let's start off with the first one and that is Runway. Runway is in fact not just one tool but a whole content creation suite. It includes 30 plus AI tools that will speed up your content creation process by a lot and I believe some of the stuff that you can do with this AI tool in seconds most people cannot do it in the traditional softwares simply because you have to spend some time to learn how to do it first and then eventually manage to do it and of course spend a decent amount of time to execute a particular task so what you can see in this short promo is just a small fraction of the capabilities of this AI tool but before I log in and show you all the different tools and how mind-blowing this AI actually is I want to mention that Runway is trusted by these big companies companies like CBS, Google, New Balance, Mr. Beast, and so on. And I have no idea what does trusted by exactly means and how these companies are associated with this website, but it definitely gives credibility and I'm sure they didn't just put some random logos on their website to look trustworthy because we know it's illegal without their permission. And moreover, Runway has more than 1.5 million monthly visits and it's not just some random company that recently popped up. But apart from that, let's have a look at what you can actually do with this AI. And when we scroll down, the first example they give us is this background removal tool. That allows you to select a subject and remove the background in a few clicks. You can also remove specific stuff from the video by just painting over it if you want to hide something that you don't want to be visible or you just have something in the frame that shouldn't be. You can also track any object in your videos with just one click. You don't have to go frame by frame and adjust it manually or go to After Effects to get the job done, export the footage and import it back to Premiere Pro again and so on and so forth. It's all in one place and it doesn't require any skills. It also has this beat detection feature that automatically snaps your clips to the music beat without having to manually make cuts by playing the music on the timeline and if you didn't make the cut in the correct spot you have to go back and adjust it and etc. This tool will do it automatically with a single click and if you're wondering what is this for, this is basically used to make transitions into different clips when there is a beat drop which makes the sound look like it's being made for the video and you know it looks cool. Another incredibly useful AI tool is the automatic sub titles where you can essentially create text layers on top of your footage without manually typing everything frame by frame and trust me this can save you a lot of time but what can save you even more time and it's actually one of the tools that I like the most is the AI tool called Soundify and what it does is essentially you upload a certain video and this AI automatically adds sound effects to the footage based on the environment so let's say you download a video with no sound from a stock footage website and in order to bring this video to life ideally you would want to add some sound effects to improve the viewer's experience right but in order to do that you have to search for the matching sound effect with the same duration within the same environment and so on and so forth and what soundify does is actually match the perfect sound effect to your clip and not only that but it actually automatically adjusts the gain based on how far the object is and if it comes closer to the camera the gain automatically goes up to make it sound realistic and vice versa so if you ever try to do sound design on a video i don't need to explain to you how long can sometimes take sound design alone. It's a pretty lengthy process most of the time. So this is definitely a game changer and I really don't want to go too deep into this because we have a lot more to talk about in this video and this is just the first tool. But I'm gonna mention just a few more tools that fall under the runway suite. So another one is this high resolution image synthesis that basically uses latent diffusion models to seamlessly remove objects from your image, bring back the details and make your image super sharp and many more. Like I said, I'm not gonna dive too deep into that so I'm gonna mention the rest of the tools within the suite as well and I wanna jump on to the next tool on the list. So as you can see we have the portrait generator which you might probably already know from Lenza because it essentially went viral on Instagram but the feature there is called magic avatars. But anyway as you can see you can do this with your doc as well and also if you have images of a specific object that you like you can create different images with that object too so it's not limited to humans and pets. Again you can see the background removal here. You also have the text to image generator 
which you might probably know from Mid Journey. And if you don't, I'm not gonna show you Mid Journey in this video, but it's an incredible AI tool that you definitely wanna check out. You essentially insert a prompt, and the AI will create an image based on your prompt, and it's insanely good. But just like ChatGPT, they are very popular already, and I wanna show you some other AI tools that are not so popular yet, but they definitely deserve more attention because they're super useful. Here, you can also modify an existing image based on a prompt. You can also expand an image, and the AI will basically guess what is most likely out of the frame currently and make it look part of the original image, matching the colors, environment, everything. It's just crazy. You can also make animated videos combining two or more images. You can easily erase or replace parts of an image simply by drawing over the object. You can compose new scenes or existing images using text prompts. And again, everything will look realistic. The colors, the shadows, the highlights, everything will be spot on. It's just insane how advanced this AI is. And you can do a bunch of other stuff as well. I don't want to go through all of them because there are simply so many and this is not a dedicated video about runway whatsoever. Neither I'm sponsored by them. Actually, I forgot to mention that none of these AI tools contacted me to include them in my video or anything like that. I haven't been paid by any of these companies and these are just simply some of the tools that I like and I think you will like them as well and will be useful to you. So I think it's time to show you the next AI tool on my list and that is Talk to Books. Talk to Books is actually a very unique AI tool simply because the popular AI tools right now use this text to prompt technology where you tell what you would want the AI to do for you, whether to give you an answer about a specific topic or generate a certain image or whatever. And Talk to Books also uses text to prompt but in a slightly different way. You can actually search for a specific passage from a book by simply typing the words in this box here. Let's say I want to see books that write about rich dad poor dad book. So I'm gonna type that and just press go. Right away you can see that these books mentioned Robert Kiyosaki's book and they pop up right away. What you might notice is that the actual rich dad poor dad book also come up but it's not first on the results. Probably because it doesn't have the actual phrase within the book and picked up the title. So we can say that the AI is prioritizing the actual content when it looks for results and it doesn't give us the book that has the keywords in the title right on top of the search. But like I said, you can also give prompts to this AI and you will get answers from the most relevant book. And I forgot to mention that this is Google AI, so I don't think I need to say that it's quite powerful. So let's say you want to find out why did World War 1 happen. You just insert the prompt and you get all the different books that write about World War 1. And not only that, but you actually got the passages that don't contain the question but the answer instead. Unlike the previous example with Rich Dad Poor Dad. So this is very easy way to discover really good reads that you didn't even know existed. Find the answers to your questions from reliable sources, find inspiration for content and really get access to unlimited amount of knowledge that you can use in various different ways. So this AI tool can be useful for the average person as well as content creators and really anyone else who wants to enrich their knowledge in a specific field without having to read the whole book. So I think this AI is pretty cool and very different from the others. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Moving on to the third one on the list and that is Superhuman. Now I gotta say that Superhuman is really a game changer when it comes to emails. This AI tool can do so many things and speed up your workflow and productivity by so much that it's just a shame I haven't found it earlier. For example, the AI can identify the important emails among all the rest and highlight them so they don't get lost in your inbox. Another feature that I think it's really cool and I didn't know it's actually possible is to undo emails. So let's say you send an email but you suddenly realize that you made a typo or some grammar mistake or you just simply gave wrong information like address or something. So what you can do is you can actually undo this email and it will be as if you never ever send it. This feature alone can save you a lot of headaches to be honest. Another cool one is the red status which I didn't think it's possible either. So basically you know how when you text someone on messenger or instagram and when they open the message this red status pops up so you know the person read the message. So this exact feature will be available within your emails with this tool and it could be quite helpful especially when you are wondering whether the person you email hasn't seen it yet or is just avoiding you. Also you can schedule an email for a certain time and date. So let's say you have a meeting on friday and today is monday and you want to tell someone to bring something to the meeting but you don't want him to forget eventually so you want to let him know closer to friday because of the lower chance to forget usually you have to set a reminder or something like that to email him a day before but with this ai tool you can simply schedule the email for thursday during his lunch break for example and on top of that if you don't get any response superhuman will remind you to follow up so it really makes the process very smooth and takes those extra steps away from your brain to do list and etc. Another cool one is the snooze feature which
which basically allows you to snooze a conversation if you are busy at the moment and you can't text or you are waiting for something to happen first before you can give an answer and that could be a couple of days from that point and the messages pile up and there is a high probability to forget about that email or at the very least you have to keep your brain full with unnecessary stuff like this so you can set a reminder for a particular day and this tool will remind you that you have an email to send but on top of that superhuman works offline too so you can reply to emails search archive and etc while you're on a flight or you don't have internet access for some reason and all that is really cool because everything is just in one place and you don't have to use other apps to set reminders write emails in your notes while you don't have internet at the moment or something like that but everything is in one place and saves you a lot of time and effort for sure but anyway the next one on the list is surprisingly google sheets and i say surprisingly because most people think google sheets has nothing to do with ai but that's actually not the case and i'm gonna quickly demonstrate to you that so here i have a spreadsheet with some data and as you can see i have a few different columns and quite a bit of rows so we have all this data and if you want to use it efficiently and let's say find out different things without going manually over every single cell and counting them what we can do instead and improve our workflow and productivity is to go to this icon in the bottom right corner that says explore and when this window pop up we can see different analytics that will give us some very useful information for example you can see that we have more than one row that contains the date april 1st 2022 but we don't know how many we have now in this case there are only 10 and we can count them easily but in some other cases we might have hundreds of rows that we have to count and we're going to waste so much time so this analytics can be pretty useful but that's not quite the power of ai yet in this box up here you can actually ask something that you want to find out and you will get the answer right away for instance let's say i want to find out how many cells contain information within the column a so i'm just gonna type how many cells in column a are filled so as you can see we got the answer right away we have only 145 cells in column a that are currently filled and the working range goes to row 1148 so i've set this particular range and if we want to cover the data only up to row 1000 for example all i have to do is to click on this edit button and just change the data range from h 1148 to h 1000 and just click update and as you can see now the data will be limited to row 1000 and you can do so many different things with this ai to improve your efficiency and all you have to do is just simply ask the ai is smart enough to make the best guess of your request even if it doesn't recognize some of the terms you put in so you can do amazing things with this ai tool and it can be incredibly useful if you're using google sheets or excel to manage your data so moving on to the last one on the list and of course that is the script now probably many of you already know this ai tool but i wanted to mention it in this video because there's a good reason it became so popular so the script is basically a video editing software but unlike the other ones available the script is very simple to use and the way it works is you upload a video and it automatically generates subtitles which you can delete and the video frame representing that subtitles will be deleted as well so it's basically like editing a text document but your video gets edited at the same time as well with its ai you can also do a bunch of stuff like improve your audio quality with just a single click you can remove filler words or pauses without having to look up the footage and search for those timestamps and if this is not very impressive to you what else you can do with this ai tool is you can record 10 to 20 minutes of your voice and upload it on this script and the ai will pick up the temba and will basically clone your voice so you will have ai generated version of your voice that will sound very very similar to your real voice and what you can actually do is when you make a video but you say something wrong you didn't pronounce it correctly or you just made a mistake that you didn't notice at the time of recording but you spot it when you edit the video and you can actually remove that part by simply remove the word and type the word that you were supposed to say instead and the ai will generate it for you without noticing any difference so this feature alone i think it's super powerful and it can save you so many headaches but apart from that of course you have a lot of templates you can use you get access to premium stock media again you can remove your background with a single click without using a green screen there are also built-in transitions effects animations and so on you can also change the aspect ratio very easily and use your content for different social media platforms and this transcription feature can be super useful if you are making short form content as the trend right now is to display everything that is being said in those tiktoks and instagram reels so you don't have to manually type those words and it's gonna save you so much time but i don't want to overextend this video and this script is probably worth putting in a separate video because it has so many features and it's so useful but i just wanted to touch a bit on all five of them and give you a brief explanation so if you find any of them helpful you can 
go and research further and try them to see whether they will make your life easier. And with that being said, I really hope you guys like the content and if you did, I will highly appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And you can watch my video about ChatGPT next if you want to see an in-depth tutorial. That's it for now, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.